Uh, my feelings on it, it's, it's a crazy world we're living in right now. And the first thing I think about is, why did he have a gun? Why did he have a rifle? Why is, is he uh, mentally ill? And um, how is he able to, you know, in Florida, I guess it's a little easier to do that, but up here in Bucks County, you know, we, we keep tabs of things like that. What has the world come to? This is a great country, but anyone who's trying to take another life, especially a former president, it's just unspeakable, it's unheard of. Life is life, it's sanctity, but it's just unfortunate this man has placed his life on the line, not once but twice for this country. God bless him, God bless America. I hope it gets better. The first thought I had is that I hoped he was okay. Also thought um, we need to do something about guns in this country, especially when I heard that it was a, an assault rifle. Um, that is going to make assassination attempts very easy. In regards to assassination of Donald Trump, I think it's crazy. I think uh, he's good for our country, and I still don't know why people are trying to kill him. I think it's out of control. I think the Democrats and the Republicans in this country should get together and work as a unit. And I think that with just this low level attempts on the president, it's gonna embolden real threats to act. And um, I, I'm, I, I think this needs to be dealt with seriously. And, and I blame the current people in power. Like I said, I think the, there's a lot of negative rhetoric right now. I think, uh, uh, you know, people are painting different sides in the, the worst possible light that they can. I think that goes both ways. You know, either one that gets in the office, in office, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. I don't think the sky is going to fall. And I think people just need to tone that down, listen to the issues, and, uh, you know, vote their conscience on that.